Hi there, my name is Anna Meyer, and I'm the head field hockey coach at Harvard College. I did my undergraduate work at Cortland State, and I was a two-sport athlete there. I played both field hockey and lacrosse. I was a physical education major. I also attended James Madison University, and while there, I was a major um, in athletic administration. Um, I was also the assistant field hockey and lacrosse coach at that time. Well, the irony is I really wanted to be a physical therapist, and um, when I was looking to go to school, Portland and University of Buffalo were my top two choices. Buffalo because they had the best BT program in the state, and Cortland because they had the, the best field hockey program in the state, and but no PT program. So I ultimately chose Cortland to play field hockey as opposed to Buffalo to study PT. Um, James Madison, I ended up getting very lucky there. When I finished my first stint as a coach at Mercersburg Academy, I had an opportunity to interview for a diving position at Mercersburg. And while there, I did not, in interviewing, I did not get the diving position, but I was offered the field hockey and lacrosse position. And that's, that's what brought me to this point of my career. I have been at Hartwood College for 28 years, and I served for 11 years as both the field hockey and lacrosse coach, and uh, for a total of 28 years as the head field hockey coach. Well, at the time, I was um, finishing my master's at James Madison. I was offered a coaching position for uh, one semester to replace a sabbatical at Cortland State. And while I was the head lacrosse coach at Cortland State, I went to New York State meetings, and the um, head field hockey coach at the time at Hartwick announced in the spring that she was leaving and said, does anybody know anybody who was looking? And everybody at the table looked at me because they knew the head coach was returning. And I applied for the job. I was not their top choice. Um, I was their second choice, but here I am 28 years later. I think the best thing about the campus for me, there's two things. Number one is the view. When you climb up the hill, and I have an office, very luckily, that overlooks the valley, uh, and even on a gray, gloomy winter day, it's spectacular. And the second best thing for me, um, or really the best thing other than the view, are the kids that I coach. I love the kids on my team. I have always loved them, and I think we'll love them until I retire, and after. Um, probably True Blue. Um, you know, no place is a perfect place, but for me, the school of Hartwick is a place that I love. I've been here for a long time. Um, I feel like my blood bleeds blue, and um, we now have an alumni event in the fall called Ch True Blue Weekend, and I think it's a perfect name because um, for me, when I hear Hartwick, that's what I think, True Blue. Um, this was a tough one for me because I can't just equate my career with the most influential person. It's, it's actually people and it's my parents. I've been fortunate to work uh, and play for some very qualified coaches. Uh, there were some things I wanted to take from them and not take from them. I think my entire existence is based around my parents. They were very disciplined people. They were very honest, very hardworking, and um, always taught me from day one. I can remember saying from day one, you know, life is short, and um, I feel like they gave me such a great perspective on life, so they've been the most influential. In my spare time, if at all possible, is spent near sunshine and salt water. And anything that involves salt water, whether it's in salt water, by salt water, on a boat on salt water, that's my existence. I love it. Interesting. I'm not sure that I have a bucket list because I really feel like I live my life every day. And I, I don't take life so seriously and I make sure that I enjoy my life and I just don't work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, I would love to go back to Hawaii. That's, that's probably a thing that I want to do. Um, I would love to see the Grand Canyon, but honestly for me, my bucket list involves spending as much time as I can by the salt water. Simple. Probably just that. Most people probably have no idea that my passion is salt water and being by the ocean. Um, I have a boat. I have a nice boat. I've been a, a captain of a boat for a long time. 
And uh, I think one of my goals in retirement is to get a captain's license and maybe do something um, with that. Um, but I spend a lot of time by the water and on the water. Most people have no idea that my great-grandfather started a business building scenery and designing scenery for Broadway shows in Manhattan and road companies as well. My one uncle has won two Tony Awards. My entire family works in the theater district downtown and I actually spent four summers in college and in grad school uh, building sets myself. And uh, it's kind of a cool thing. I've seen a lot of shows from backstage uh, from the fly floor. Your favorite food? Pizza. Favorite band or musician? Easy, Beach Boys. Favorite TV show? Survivor. If I could be on Survivor, I would. Favorite movie? This is a tough one. It's probably a cross between uh, Indiana Jones, the original one, and Chicago. I'm a big fan of musicals, but I also just love Indiana Jones and Harrison Ford. Favorite book? Tuesdays with Maury. Favorite place to visit? Hawaii. Can't live without? Probably my boat. <laughs> pet peeve? My pet peeve is when people can't leave a place better than they found it. I have a huge pet peeve about litter. When, I, when our kids pick up garbage on the turf, I pick up garbage everywhere on campus. I don't like when people litter. That's my biggest pet peeve.